sold this for $24. The buyer was all in for $31.13. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, I have 33 bread and butter bolos coming your way. My bread and butter for me is $35 or less. Items that I've picked up at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, YouTube auctions, Facebook marketplace. Um, most recently, the Goodwill Benz has been like my place. I love it. Um, if you wanna see Goodwill Benz videos, definitely check out my channel. I'm having a lot of fun with that. But anyway, these are items that I source low and sell for $35 or less. So I call that my bread and butter. And let me know in the comments, what do you consider your bread and butter bolos? All right, let's get started here. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. The first item is this stoneware. It's Torks, oh, Torksbury, T E W. K-S-B-U-R-Y. Um, and it's a lighthouse, uh, Nantucket Lighthouse. This was in a thrift store mystery box. And I was like, I'm just going to look it up because it's got the original tag. And I was surprised at how, how much these sell for. And it actually sold really quickly. I sold it for $18. The buyer was all in for $24.74. The next item are these two Disney Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse push go cars. They're happy kid. Um, let me show you what it looks like. I'm pretty sure I usually, maybe I didn't this time. I usually show the bottom, sorry, but it's actually spelled out like this. It's H A P dash P dash kid. That's the brand. Um, I got these out of a mystery toy box from the thrift store, sold them for 15 on best offer. And the buyer was all in for 2205. The next item was a Goodwill pickup. I paid $3 for this, which is paying up a little bit for me. Typically on ornaments, I'm pretty cheap. Um, but I did look this one up and comps looked good. I ended up selling this for $25. The buyer was all in for $32.05. Karen Rossi, and it's R-O-S-S-I is how that's spelled. And this is from 2005. It's retired. Harder to find item. Yeah, sold pretty quick for $25 plus shipping. So that was a good one. This one came out of a mystery toy box from a thrift store. And I sold these for $17.99 on auction. And the buyer was all in for $24.86. So I got a whole bunch of these. And what I decided to do was try to make like a little family. So in the title, I put family, mom, dad, brother, sister. So somebody that's looking for like a dollhouse to complete their dollhouse set or whatever, their little uh, play set you know, it gives them an immediate family all shipped at once. The next item is this Bratz doll. I cannot remember where this came from. Um, she's been listed for a while. This was a very long tail item. Um, but nonetheless, I probably paid like a quarter 50 cents for, her, and I sold her for a best offer of $10. The buyer was all in for 1884. The next item is this Peppa the Pig backpack, another item that I did not source. Um, I did, but not intentionally. I picked up a huge lot of items on Facebook Marketplace. It was a parent that was going through her kids' toys. She put it on Facebook Marketplace. I actually have unboxing videos of those. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to list this because it was in that lot. And I ended up selling this for $11.25 plus shipping. Uh, the buyer was all in for 2008 and it actually sold pretty quickly. And I'm guessing I had a dollar or less than that. All right. This one, if you guys were watching my jewelry unboxing live show, um, actually sold really quick. It is a vintage fauceted, I think that's how you say it, goldstone beaded neck necklace. And fauceted means, see how it's got those like uh, dimension or I'm not really sure it's called fauceted. but when I was live, you guys, the viewers, told me what this was called. I had no idea. And they also told me it was Goldstone. And you can see like the little flakes in it. But it's a really, really cool piece. And again, this one sold pretty quickly. I took a best offer of $20 on that. 
And the buyer was all in for $27.29. And that came out of my bulk jewelry buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 344 pounds of jewelry. I have tons of videos on this channel, but you're going to have to go way back because I think I bought that like three years ago. It was before, um, before all the lockdowns and all of that stuff. So it's been quite a while ago, but, um, I still have a ton of it to list. It's sitting in a tote, 344 pounds. That's a lot of jewelry. The next item is this 2012 Lego carry case. It's missing the dividers. I almost donated it. And actually my photo here, huh? I know I did an inside shot. That's weird. It's not showing up, huh? Maybe it didn't take. So somebody bought it without it. I'm glad I put the dividers uh, were missing in the title. Uh, I believe this one went internationally. And again, it was, I almost donated it because I didn't think it would sell. And it actually sold pretty quick, which is, you know, sometimes you just, you don't, you never know. Makes you want to list everything. Uh, so that was a mystery toy box from a thrift store. Sold it for 15. The buyer was all in for 2205. The next item are these vintage Monet signed silver tone ball drop dangle clip on earrings. I got these at a thrift store for $1. Ended up taking a best offer of $20. And the buyer was all in for 25. So again, I like putting my hand behind it. I feel like that shows the item better sometimes. Briar horses. Um, I ended up lotting this mama and baby together. I don't know that they actually um, were a set, but um, that's what I did. And I put these up for auction at $29.99 and somebody offered me $25. So I just went ahead and took it. And the buyer was all in for $43.16 with tax and shipping. So what I did is I bubble wrapped them and then I paper wrapped them and I put them in a priority mailbox, the 12 by 12 by nine. And that ended up fitting these horses very well. They're, they're one of those items where you just got to find the right box and those work good for the briar horses. So, and you can order those from usps.com. These are the peekaboo blocks. I got these at the Goodwill bins. These actually sold really quick. They were in a video of mine. And I sold these for $15. The buyer was all in for $23.43. Again, tape measure to show scale so people can look at that and know what they're getting. All right, this one I might have messed up on. This is a Tyco Vintage Kitty Kitty Kittens plush. Uh, this was in one of my videos. I, I hit the plush jackpot at a thrift store and I have a whole video on it. One of the Briar horses, it was a plush that I got. I think I ended up selling it for $75 and I paid a dollar for it. It was in this same thrift haul. These are a big money bolo, but this little cat was in really rough condition. Matted, just, you know, the tag, just not great condition. And I thought... I think I can still sell it. I wish now that I would have started my auction like at $49.99. I always say I start my auction at the minimum I want to get for it. And at that point in time, I thought $34.99 was it. But now that I'm looking back, I'm like, oh, I should have listed it higher. But I paid a buck for it at a thrift store. The buyer was all in for $42.04. But if you see these, you guys, some of them sell for hundreds of dollars. So um, look them up. Condition is important. But I think I could have probably got 50 bucks for this. The next item is this. Um, it's a Ben 10 figure. Let me show you what he looks like. I got it at a garage sale. It was 50 cents. I bought a whole bunch of them. Ben 10 tends to be long tail. This one's from 2006. <sighs> would I source them on a regular basis? Do I get excited about them? No, not really. But if I can pick them up really cheap, I will. Uh, are there some out there that are worth more money? Quite possibly. I'm not a Ben 10. Um, it's not something I know a whole lot about. I had to use Google Lens to figure this out. And I sold this for $15. The buyer was all in for $21.84. And I had about 50 cents in that probably. This nativity came from a garage sale and it's had lights and sound. Super cool item. Sold this for $33.75 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Halloween plate. Um, it's like a raised witch Halloween decor. 
I don't know if it was vintage or not. It didn't have any markings on it. It was super, super cool. So I just put question mark vintage because I didn't know, but I kind of felt like it's older, but maybe not super old, but could be 20 years. I don't know. Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments. Ended up selling this for a best offer of 31. The buyer was all in for $43.99 and I got this at a thrift store for $1. The next item is one of those items that I'm kind of known for selling. I love picking up these little miniature Christmas tree ornaments. This one's from 1977 by Kurt Adler, The Tales of Mother Goose. And this one ended up selling for $16.50. The buyer was all in for $22.69. And I picked this up for 10 cents at a thrift store. All right, here is another one where I put the two figures and the two chairs together to make it more appealing to somebody who's maybe looking for something to for their playset. Uh, I got this from Auctions for You. It was in a mystery toy box that I bought from her, and I will have her link down below if you guys are looking for inventory. Um, her and Donatella Bottolino do uh, YouTube auctions and selling events on their channels, and it's a great place to source. So. I have lots of unboxings that I've gotten from them. So check out some of those other videos. Sold this for $24. The buyer was all in for $31.13. The next item is this Spin Master Paw Patrol Adventure Bay Railway Replacement Motorized Engine. And it's a harder to find item. I got this at the Goodwill Bins and it sold super fast for $18. The buyer was all in for $25.90. So if you see this guy definitely pick him up because it's usually a quick selling item as long as the market's not flooded. Okay. I bought a bunch of calico critters in a blue tote bag. I think it was blue from uh, an estate sale. And I paid one price for all of it. And I have so many listings out of that, that I probably had a quarter in these. And I ended up selling these for $29.60. And the buyer was all in for $38.18. What these are, are they're little, uh, you know, like the brochures, the catalogs that come with the play sets. That's what these are. So I was like, I'm going to list those. I think I can sell them. And sure enough, they sold pretty quick. This little guy is a vintage bantam elephant plush musical wind-up stuffed animal. And I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. And you can see it's kind of yellowing, but I just felt like this was an item that somebody was going to be looking for. They had it in their childhood and they just, they needed to find the item. And it ended up selling quicker than I expected. Uh, it sold for $14.90 on best offer. The buyer was all in for 31 this guy, oh my goodness, if we're talking long tail, this guy took forever to sell. I was so happy when he sold. Like, you know how you get excited about big money bolos? Sometimes I get just as excited about a stale item that sold. Um, I am a list it and forget it kind of girl. And I'm a long tail seller. I, of course, love the items that sell fast. But I really don't care if they sit and sit and sit because I list them and forget them. And they sit in totes. Once you uh, get over a certain amount of items in your store, like you just can't keep track of things. It's just, it's just too much. And if you try to, you're going to drive yourself crazy and waste a lot of time. So it goes in a tote. And when it sells, it sells. Uh, I do not pull things and donate them. I keep it listed. I have done the work. I've listed the item. There is no reason for me to pull that item, inventory it, and donate it. Like, I've already done the work. Uh, it'll eventually sell. It always does. This was probably up for three, four years. I don't know, something crazy. But I got this guy for a dollar at a garage sale. Sold it for a best offer of 19 and the buyer was all in for $32.60. So I still made great money on this item. It just took a long time to sell, but it wasn't bothering me sitting in that tote. Paid no attention to it. So everybody, you know, I have space. So if I got so much inventory where I was running out of space, I may have to reevaluate my business model. This is another item that took like 10 years to sell. Literally, okay, maybe it was like seven or eight, but I think it was closer to 10. I have had these listed forever. I actually think I sold them once and they got returned, but they are a size five, a women's size five. If you guys don't know, like small sizes like five and six are super hard to sell. Maybe I should have put um, 
like what that was equivalent to in like a children's size. Let me know what you guys do for these smaller sizes because I could not unload these things forever, forever I had them. Anyway, ended up selling them. Um, I probably should have redone the picture and used um, photo room to white out the background. Maybe they would have sold better because I do have them laying in the, on this carpet. I don't know. It, but yeah, the lighting's bad. My photos were not good. This is, again, a really old listing. And I sold these for $30 and the buyer was all in for $42.33. I've had them so long. I don't know what I paid for them, um, but sold them for 30 bucks. I know I made a profit, so that's good, but it took forever. So I would not bolo for that. And if you do like take better pictures, because those pictures were awful. Um, that was before photo room. Uh, this Smurf or before my light box. Uh, garage sale, $1. And I sold this for $20. The buyer was all in for $24.50. So these little uh, Smurfs, Smurfs, I don't know if that's a word, but they are dated on the bottom. And I always thought this was pronounced Schley, but it's actually Schleich. Um, so that's how you say it. I don't know why I thought it was Schley, but I did. And that's, I confidently would say that as well. And somebody's like, you're saying that wrong. I'm like, okay. So that's one that I remember now is Schleich. And uh, Peo, I think is how you say it, from 1981. It's a little Smurf ornament, you guys. 20 bucks for that. How awesome is that? This guy, Disney Incredibles, Baby Jack Jack, eight ounce. 8 ounce, 8 inch plush glows red and makes sound. So if you're not familiar with this guy, this is what his face does. Um, there are two. Um, let me see. This is the little guy. I've actually sold the one where he's standing up also. But I got this from a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold it for a best offer of 15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item sold super fast. Um, I put it on a seven day auction. So seven days is fast. Uh, Ghostbusters talking Slimer pull tongue toy. I got this at a thrift store. It was 75 cents. And I don't know, it just caught my eye. And I'm like, I'm totally getting that. And what did I pay for it? 75 cents sold for $24.99. Buyer all in for $32.24 on this Ghostbusters talking Slimer. Like you pull the tongue. I think I've got, yep, here's the video. So that's over on my reseller testing Bolo products. I like to put videos in my description so people know how they work. And it also shows that the item is functioning as it should. The next item is this art list, the dog that. Hold on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Look at this word. Would you look at it? Does that look like dash hound to you? It looks like dash hound. So I've always pronounced it Dash Hound. And I was over, I think it was Rachel Strickland who pronounced it like me. And I was like, yes, yes. Somebody else like totally said it wrong. My husband's like, that's Dotson. I'm like, how on earth do you get Dotson out of that? That does not even look like Dotson. Like if I were to think of how Dotson would be spelled, it would be D-O-T-S-O-N, Dotson. Not like that. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you mispronounce this dog also, or is it just me and Rachel? All right. I think it was on one of her videos. Oh, I, I wish I knew which video it was. And I would like put it into the, uh, like the, this video because I was so excited that uh, somebody else had said it wrong. It was kind of like when, um, what was that word? Was it gigantic? I think it was gigantic. I did a video on it. Auctions for you. And or what, what was it? I can't, it wasn't gigantic. Was it? Oh, it was humongous. <laughs> humongous. Anyway, I have a video on that, but uh, auctions for you and I both messed up how, how we said it. Anyway, it was funny. Uh, let's see. I got this out of the thrift store mystery box for 13. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Probably a dollar or less. Sold it for a best offer of 13 and the buyer was all in for 1810. Sorry, I went off on a little uh tangent there. That was fun. All right, these are mini Christmas tree ornaments. There's 45 of them here. I got these in a thrift store, at a thrift store in a bag of ornaments for a buck. And I sold these for $20. The buyer was all in for $27.55. I feel like with these little ornaments that people look for them for like those small trees. 
So they tend to do pretty well. And those weren't branded or anything. The next item is this Thomas and Friends mini spooktacular pop-up playset. And check this out, you guys. Pretty cool little piece. This came out of a thrift store mystery box. It was another item that I almost donated. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to try and sell this. I sold it for a best offer of $12. The buyer was all in for $22.68. This is a grumpy cat plush. It clings to a window. Uh, this one came from a garage sale for 50 cents. I sold it for a best offer of $12. The buyer was all in for $18.15. All right. This one was fun. These are recipe album refill pages and they're like clear plastic. And these came, I don't remember where I got these. I did not write it down for some reason, but I did I did not pay much for them. I ended up selling two of them for $25.16, all in $29. And I still have three left. So kind of an unexpected bolo right there. I feel like I got it with some other stuff. It was like in a lot. This is a frog. It is a frog puppet with a squeaker. And I don't think it had, um, oops, let me see here. Huggable hand puppet, handcrafted. It wasn't like branded. Maybe Huggable is the brand. I don't know. Anyway, I got it at a garage sale for a quarter. I thought it was cute. Sold it for $10. The buyer was all in for $18.29. This next item is a Fisher Price Little People Castle Carriage. This is really old vintage item. I got this at a garage sale and a lot of Fisher Price Little People items. Again, if, if you can put this item number in the title, that's going to help people find it. Sold this on best offer of, for 14. The buyer was all in for 21.24. And the last item is this vintage bubble lamp plug-in holiday Christmas nightlight. And I actually just found another one of these recently at the Goodwill Benz. I cannot believe it made it because that is glass. Um, I ended up selling this for $28.50. The buyer was all in for $40.45. And I got that at an estate sale for $1. And I need to locate the other one because it's probably in a bag just sitting in my garage from the Goodwill Benz. And I hope I don't break it because it's it's a fun item. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, there's going to be some videos popping up and there's going to be a subscribe button here. So if you're new here, let me know how you found the channel. Leave me a hat emoji in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.